Welcome to video seven of my Cambrian Way journey. And I've just left Barmouth. This is day 14 of my trip. Wandered into Barmouth this morning. I've resupplied at the local co-op, went into a cafe, had the largest breakfast they could offer me with a mug of coffee. And then I've left the town and started climbing up onto the Rinog mountain range. There's a secret stash of two half gas canisters which have been left for me. I'm not going to disclose where they are. They were left there by friends of mine called Mike and Jason, but I don't need them. I've only used one canister so far from Cardiff to here. That's now empty, so I'm starting my second canister which I bought in Clandovery. So we're going to leave the gas canisters where they are and we'll make use of them in the future. Today it's supposed to be a really hot day, it is warm, but there's a slight, slight cloud cover which is cooling the day and as I get higher I can feel a breeze. It's going to be a good day. So now we follow this wall for miles and miles and miles over the southern part of the Rinogs. Summit of Diffwis. I won't deny I'm a little weary. From my camp spot this morning to Diffwis is 17 and a half miles. My next mountain is Athletha and that's about 1.8 miles away. It looks like from the Col, about a 200 metre climb. From there I descend down towards Clindewell and both Rinogvach and Rinogvaur are on the Cambrian Way. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my rucksack at the Col between Athletha and Rinogvach, nip up, then come back down and I'm going to camp at Thin Hewell this evening. Then tomorrow I shall take the recommended route around Rinogvach into the bulk beyond and then climb up Rinogvaua, which is quite a difficult mountain to climb, quite rocky. I'm low on water, thirsty, so I'm rationing myself, I'm okay, but I'm really looking forward to getting a Thin Hewell for a swim and also to drink to my heart's content. Summit of Rinogvach. Oh, it was hard. Boulders and scrambling, but I've done it. And that's Rinogvaur in the distance. Doing that tomorrow. End of day 14. 20.2 miles done and I'm camped at Llinhuel. I'm watching the fish jumping and catching flies. There are a few midges around here but it's the buzzing flies which are bothering me. Um, they just won't leave me alone. Wish the fish would get them. Anyway I've had most of my dinner. Um, you see that? <laughs> I'm living on these Welsh cakes, so uh, I'll have that in a minute. Rationing myself to four a day. Um, just good fuel. Yeah, but good day today. Tiring and 
when I was descending from Athletha, looking at Rinogvach, I think, oh, I don't really want to go up there. But I had to because the route to Rinogvaur is not recommended by going over Rinogvach. It's very, very difficult, very steep, rocky terrain. So tomorrow I descend from here uh, into the bulk, turn right, and there's a route which I will find up to Rinogvaur, which I did, I reckon, 20 years ago with my friend Adrian. We spent two days in the Rinogs and we camped at the Thlin below here and we did it over two days how naive we were we even carried a bottle of wine <laughs> not bad at the at the Tlin. but we had two great days in the rinogs ticking off the hills but i we both i remember us both looking at that descent that we did from rinog vower thinking blimey and i gotta go up that tomorrow so i am looking forward to it though because then once i'm over that down to Tlin D, and then out through the northern Rinogs towards Trausvanov. So yeah, good day. Do it again tomorrow. Good morning and good morning from day 15 of my Cambrian Way journey. Left Llyn Huel this morning, wonderful camp spot, really enjoyed it, peaceful, so lovely, nice breeze pushing through and it was a really comfortable night. So since then I've descended down to the bulk between Rinogvach and Rinogvaur. It's been bouldery, that's why I've not done a lot of filming. And now I start my climb up to Rinogvara by the recommended route, thus avoiding the scree and dangerous loose ground if I take in a direct line. See how we get on. I think the route's created for little people. I found a way over just to the side. Top of Rinogvaur, hard one. Now 20 past 11 and I've descended to Kumbachen. Uh, so it's been slow going but that's to be expected in the Rinogs and I'm under no illusion that the rest of them will be slow going too. But I've done a good deed for the day. I met a couple of young ladies at uh, Lindy. They camped there for the night and they asked me to keep an eye out for a camera that they'd dropped on their way up there from Kumbachen. So look what I found. So they own a blue Citroen Berlingo van apparently and I shall leave it on their dashboard. This is the bloody path. It's going to take forever to get through these uh, northern Renaults at this rate. Time on day 15, and I'm looking towards Moyle Escafanagod, which is the next hill that I have to get to. I feel like I'm escaping finally <laughs> the Rinogs. I'm not going to be stuck here forever. Voil Penolau, which is the last mountain 
on the Rinog range that I've had to do. Now it's a case of getting down towards Llyn Trausvanith. As the Germans would say, ich bin fix und fertig. I am done. Oh, it's been a tough old day, hot, I think, which is one of the reasons why I've struggled. Really, really tough underfoot. Much harder than I remembered from 20 odd years ago. And combined with the distance, I've got nothing left in the tank to get me any further. It's four o'clock. And normally I would go for another couple of hours and be thinking about where I could put the tent down. But looking at the map, I've got nothing left in it today for me for climbing and the only place I could realistically put the tent would be down on Boylwyn Mower having climbed up out of the valley and I just I don't want to do it. So <clears throat> I'm walking down this road now, Slim Trans, Trans Runneth is on my left and there's a campsite down here called Kai Ava. So I'm going to stay there, recharge my batteries and get ready for the next stage tomorrow. In my head, I don't like to plan too far ahead, but you begin to see the end now, this close. And I think I can get there in four days, but I don't want to arrive in Conley in the evening. So I'll extend into a fifth day. And the reason for that is because I want to get a train in the morning, not the evening. So see how I get on. My plan may crash and burn, <laughs> but tomorrow's another day and we'll see how we get on. Good morning and good morning from day 16 of my Cambrian Way journey. I realised last night when I was editing my videos that I sounded a bit negative last night. I'm not negative at all, I was just really, really tired. And I think that came across in the video. The Rinogs really were very hard, but they are absolutely stunning mountains. And I'm so pleased that I got to return and did a complete traverse again of the range. They really are amazing. Lots of rock, of course, majestic mountains, lots of upland tarns. Flins in Wales. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So if I was negative or if you felt I was being negative in the video, please don't think that. I was just rather weary. Today I'm going to head up towards Moylwyn Mower and Knicht and we'll see how far I get. I'm not quite sure what my plan is. I may put the tent down up on those mountains somewhere. I may continue on towards Beth Gellert. I've got enough food for today as well and into tomorrow, but my last resupply will be Beth Gellert on this Cambrian Way journey. It's turning into another warm day. Behind me, you can see the town of Blaenau Festiniog. I was hoping to see a train this morning from Porth Madig up to Blaenau Festiniog, but they don't start till about 10.40, so that's why I haven't seen them. Whilst I've been editing my videos, I've concluded that I talk about food a lot, <laughs> and I talk about calories, and I talk about how it sets me up to walk the next day. I think I've become a bit obsessed. So I've just passed through Mine Turog about an hour and a half ago and I stopped. Jason, my friend, had told me that they served cake and coffee at any time of the day and they did. So I had Barra Breath and a cup of coffee. But this walk really is so tough that you just, it's very difficult to put enough calories into you based on the food you can carry on your back. So every opportunity you get, if you see some food, buy it, eat it. 
So I was thinking about these fried breakfasts I've been having, which I don't have very often, and they're not, we know they're not good for us. But I was concluding, how did they come about? And I suppose they came about because years ago, the working man worked physically. He had to work on his stomach, so he went out in the morning with bacon and eggs inside him to keep him going throughout the day. And I suppose that's how the British breakfast started its life. It's the same for walking. You pile all those calories into in the morning and they set you up for the day. I know they're high in fat, I know they're high in cholesterol, but I don't live like that normally. And when I get home, I'll be eating healthily as I always do. But for the moment, I'm gonna pile the calories into me on every single opportunity. I think I'd be rather grateful if that dam did not burst now or for the next half an hour. And that's where I'm going tomorrow. Rubadva. The summit of Knecht. End of day 16 and it's a beautiful evening and I've had a great day. So that mountain there is Knicht. It's known as the Welsh Matterhorn which I think is a little bit of an insult to the real Matterhorn in Switzerland but nevertheless I can understand why it has that name. It has a the shape of the Matterhorn when looked at from this direction. I'm sat here at my uh, wild camp spot overlooking the estuary Porth Madog and looking towards the Rinog Mountains where I was yesterday. Today's been a really good day. I left uh, the campsite near Trausvanith. Really straightforward walk down to Maimturog. And then I just plodded up slowly up to Moylwyn Mower and um, the climb was really quite straightforward really. Then skirted round uh, the Rosseth quarries. Uh, finally coming round to, to connect. Tomorrow the forecast isn't looking great. Uh, I must be honest. Uh, it's worth uh, mountain forecast is going to be fog all day with some heavy rain coming through late afternoon so I really want to get through tomorrow and get the tent up before that weather hits if I can. Uh, I'm probably going to be aiming to camp somewhere above Penna Pass tomorrow which will then leave me a straightforward route up to the Glidders the following day but this is the end of day 16 cracking day cracking route Loving every minute of it. Good morning and good morning from day 17 of my Cambrian Way journey. Today is an enforced day off, sadly. The weather's turned. It's not windy here, but the forecast for the weather is 50 mile an hour winds. So in my mind, that is too dangerous to go up. So what's the boy to do? Well, I've booked a campsite in Beth Gellert. £22 for a backpacker rate. It's outrageous. Backpacker rate's usually about a tenner, but it's the only campsite I can get into. It's a Friday night. So I'm expecting a lot of luxury for £22. I shall drop down into Beth Gellert now, do a resupply for the next few days to get me to Conwy 
I shall buy a breakfast somewhere, no doubt. I shall mooch about the village, go and visit the grave of Gellert, and make my way to the campsite. So that's the day. Read my book. And then tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, the weather forecast improves again. Winds drop, and I shall then make my way over the remaining mountains, I hope. If not, I'll be going into Monday, or maybe even Tuesday. So that's the day ahead of me. This is the last section of video into Beth Gellert. There'll be one more video which will document the remainder of my journey. If you've got this far, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.